Hey everyone, Jason Shabbert here of M0A.com and today's quick video, we're gonna take you up in the cockpit and I'm gonna show you my best kept secrets for nailing your short field landings. Not just for your check ride, but for your check ride and beyond. So let's go ahead and let's head up to the cockpit. All right guys, so we're up here uh, in the cockpit turning left downwind for runway 23. Gonna show you my secrets to what makes a great short field land, and there's really two factors that go into this. Uh, the first is my aiming point. You guys have to realize that you, you need to aim well ahead of your point. I'm talking in some cases 100, 150, 200 feet, depending on the airplane, in front of your actual intended touchdown point. Private pilot guys, remember, nothing in front of your point, 200 feet beyond. Commercial pilot guys, nothing in front of your point, 100 feet beyond. We've got that, okay? So we need to work on our aiming point. I'm going to show you guys that in this clip. We also need to work on nailing our air speeds in this case. Now, you guys have seen The Secret of Perfect Landing. You probably have the book, everything else. Uh, I'm going to start my little descent here down. Carby power back down. Reason collapse. And um, so you, you guys know a lot about air speed is king. I talk about that a lot. Well, it's really important. But we're coming into a short field uh, landing in this case. We are simulating that we're trying to clear a, in this case, fictitious 50-foot obstacle. I'm going to go ahead and turn my base. Airspeed's looking great, by the way, here. And Ellen Marion County traffic, Skyhawk 7159 Quebec, turning left base, runway 23 to Ellen Marion County. So I'm coming in. I wanted to be about 90 on downwind. The Karcher is parting the pattern to the northeast at Denali. All right, he's out of here. I want to be uh, roughly about 80 uh, on, uh, on base and slowing to 70. On final, even a hair bit slower than that, maybe pushing 65 on short, short final. What I'm looking for, I'm adding another notch of flaps here. Flaps are going to vary depending on you, the situation, your aircraft in this case. But what I'm watching for right now, after I make sure final is clear, final is clear, I'm aiming ahead of my point. My point right now, by the way, is the beginning of the second center line stripe. Once this guy gets on talk, I'm make my radio call here as I turn. To Ellen Marion County traffic, Scott 7159 Quebec, turning final runway 23 to Ellen Marion County, full stop. I am aiming, well, the point I want to touch down on is the beginning of the second center line stripe. I'll explain why here in just a bit. Uh, bringing my airspeed back and check here. So I'm going to really aim at like the numbers. So do this with me here. Let's draw a circle real quick and let's put it on the numbers 2 3. And let's watch. If I keep on that proper glide path. If I keep the numbers two, three in that circle, I'm staying on my aiming point. Whereas if maybe that circle, you know, that two, three is coming outside of my circle, either above it or below it, I need to make my adjustments accordingly in that case. But I'm working hard to keep two, three uh, in that circle. We, I literally do this, my students will draw a circle uh, with like an expo marker on the windshield so they can practice that. My airspeed's looking great. I'm aiming well ahead of my point. I'm looking at two, three, but I know where I'm gonna touch down at. I'm coming in, everything's looking great, looking great. I've cleared my obstacle powers back to idle and I'm holding it off. I enter into a transition kind of phase. Here comes my point and as if it were magic, we touch down just like that. Yeah, nice. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Guys, it's all about having a great aiming point in that case. Let me make an announcement that we're going to back taxi here real quick. And to Delamere County traffic, Scott 7159 Quebec is going to back taxi runway 23 to Delamere County. We don't have taxi weight, so we have to back taxi them. Yeah. Um, so it's so important to have that proper aiming point in this case. That is what's super, super important to you. Manage those air speeds. Have an aiming point. Let me give you guys a little bit of a secret here. Why did I choose a center line stripe? Well, and, and let's let this clip kind of play through as we're watching it again here. I chose a center line stripe because not at all airports, but at most airports, a center line stripe is roughly 80 feet long with 20 feet in between. And that's going to vary from airport to airport. Some are more standard than others are. Um, so that could vary in that case. But if I know that my center line stripe is 80 feet long with 20 feet in between it to the next one, so from the second one to the beginning of the third one is 100 feet, that helps me out a lot when I know, hey, for my commercial pilot PTS, I had to put it down within 100 feet. For my private pilot PTS, I've got to be able to put it down within 200 feet. So I can kind of see that and I can kind of map that out in that case. You, you, 
see what I'm talking about here. How important that can be in that case. So knowing that sort of stuff. Focus on your air speeds. Focus on your aiming points. That's what's going to help you guys a ton. So guys, I hope you're enjoying uh, your day. Guys, listen. Make a radio call real quick. And to Delmarion County Traffic Talk, 7159 Quebec, tax and clear, runway uh, 23 to Delmarion County. Listen, guys, if you struggle with landings, I encourage you to scroll down underneath this video. And there's a box where you can enter your first name and your email address. Uh, and you can enter all that there. And I'm going to send you some of my best content I have on landings in that case. I'm going to send you the secret of perfect landings, all, all this great stuff, webinars, videos. If you need help with landings, I encourage you to scroll down beneath this video on m0a.com. Enter your first name, your email. I'm going to email you a bunch of great videos. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, there's a link in the description that will take you to that where you can uh, access all that and uh, get signed up for that totally free. You're just going to send you a bunch of great free content. So, guys, hope you're enjoying uh, your day. Enjoy the rest of it. And most importantly, remember, good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.